Hi, my name is Emily and I'm here today with a Summer Starts at EPL Nutty for Nature class. So we're going to be learning a little bit about nature, talking about some fascinating animal facts, and we have a few activities as well. So the first amazing thing in nature we're going to talk about is this, the stick bug. Do you see the bug in the picture here? It's kind of hard to find and it's doing that on purpose. It looks like a stick so that it blends in with its background. This is called camouflage. That's so that any birds or other predators that might want to eat it can't find it. The first activity we're going to do is an animal inspired sidewalk chalk obstacle course. All you need for this is chalk and a sidewalk. So first thing, I'm going to think about four animals that move in different ways. Hmm. I'm going to pick a bunny, they hop, a turtle, they swim, an owl, they fly, and a cat, they move on four legs. So let's go outside and write on the sidewalk. First thing, I'm going to write out my four animals. Then I'm going to be drawing a symbol next to the animal. This is actually what we're going to be drawing on the course, so you'll have to remember what symbol matches up with which animal. And now to create a silly, windy, curvy course for people to move through. During the bunny section, you'll hop like a bunny. During the owl section, fly like an owl. And you can add as many animals as you like. Add lots of twists and turns to make it challenging. Get someone to time you running the course and then see if you can beat your time. Do you know someone in your neighborhood who might want to do this too? Get them to come over and see if they can beat your time. But remember, always keep two meters apart. How about another wild thing in nature? The glow worm. It's an insect that glows. They're able to use chemicals in their body to create light. This is called bioluminescence. Then these little bugs fly around and are attracted to light. They go up towards it and that's when the glow worm eats them. The next activity we're going to do is painting with nature. I watched a really cool video on Creative Bug. It's a resource that you can access for free through epl.ca. In it, there is a video called Intuitive Mark Making. And the teacher showed that you can paint with lots of different objects, not just paintbrushes. So we're going to try it out today. Because this is our Nutty in Nature class, we're going to try using objects that we find outside in nature. And you know what there's a lot of in my backyard? Dandelions. I also found some pine cones, some rocks, a stick, some old cedar branches, and I also brought out part of an onion and the stem of a mushroom that I didn't use for lunch. So now that I have all my materials, I'm going to get started. You can make different effects depending on how much paint you're using, how hard you're pressing, and whether you're stamping, dragging, rolling, or whatever. Some of the things I picked out made some really fun patterns and designs, and some of the things I picked it didn't really work out at all, but that's okay. It's just fun to experiment. I think my favorite stamp was using that old piece of onion. Kind of looks like a rainbow. If you're looking for things outside to paint with, make sure to use things that have fallen off a tree rather than things you're going to pick off a tree. We don't want to take any good food away from animals or bees or to hurt the plants. You can always ask an adult if you're not sure what's okay to use. That was really fun. I loved seeing all the different designs that we could make just using things in nature. It was pretty messy, but that was great. All right, how about another fun nature fact? This time it's about the flying dragon, but okay, it doesn't actually fly and it's not actually a dragon. It's really a lizard and it glides, kind of like how a paper airplane glides. It has five or six extended ribs with a thin membrane and that kind of makes up its wings. And its long tail acts like a rudder to help it steer. Pretty neat. Where am I getting all these amazing animal facts? I'm getting them from World Book Encyclopedia, access for free through EPL.ca. 
I love being outside and exploring nature. There's so many fun things to do. I couldn't fit them all in this video. Make sure to check out the activity sheet that goes along with this video for lots of other fun ideas like nature inspired yoga and a really cool scavenger hunt that I put together. Check out epl.ca slash summer starts for lots of other fun activities. While you're there, remember to log your reading minutes. Your weekly submission counts as one entry into our grand prize draw. You can also enter our weekly contest to find this year's mascot, Turtle Swift, for a chance to win a free book. Thanks for watching and keep checking back for more videos from Summer Starts at EPL. Remember, share your creations with us at hashtag Summer Starts EPL.